Hey you, it's the IT guy here. It's just before 6 a.m. here in San Francisco. I'm on my first cup of coffee and we're going to be doing some hacky, hackery type stuff today. Uh, what we're going to do, let's go ahead and open this window up real quick. This is Pico CTF. This is a capture the flag exercise. Um, before I go any further, let's just go ahead and cover some of the technical terms that I'll be using in this video. There aren't many. Uh, the first is OSCP. Uh, those of you who know me know that I am going for my Offensive Security Certified Professional certification. Say that three times fast. What that is, it's a pen testing or red teaming certification done by Offensive Security. It is absolutely the leading certification in the field. What we're doing today is a capture of the flag. That's a hacking contest in which players try to compromise vulnerable systems. Security professionals use it to train and for practice. And the last thing we're going to talk about that you may not be familiar with is hashing. Hashing is the process of taking one value and converting it into another one. A hash function is used to generate the new value according to a mathematical algorithm. The result of a hash function is known as a hash value or simply a hash. And we'll get into more of that later on. So let's actually get right into it. Right, let's go ahead and dismiss that. Let's go to the second page. And the one that I want to look at today is keygenme.py. So let's uh, have a look at what this thing is. It's worth 30 points. Uh, the author is a person named Surreal. There is no description. That's not great. And there are no hints. Uh, 2,400 people have solved it out of 7,200 who have tried. That is a success rate of 34%. So we're probably in for a hard time here. So the only thing it's going to give us is this file here, which is keygenmetrial.py, which looks to be a Python file. So let's go ahead and we'll save that. And then we'll pop over into a terminal. Let me go ahead and big in that terminal and get everything nice and big so you can see. Let's do a listing. And there it is. So let's run file on it and see exactly what that is. So we'll run file on that, and it says it is a Python script, ASCII text executable with very long lines. Okay, so let's just cat it out and see what it is. Ugh, boy, oh, we got a lot of base64 in here. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely a Python file, but instead of struggling to read it in the terminal like this, let's just go ahead and pop open VS Code, and we'll open it inside VS Code. Uh, let's see, show local, and we want, shit, um, OSCP, capture the flag, Pico CTF, key gen me, and this guy. Okay, again, let me embiggen things a little bit. I think that's probably as big as I want to take this. Okay, so let's take a look at this thing and see what it does before we run it, okay? So, we're going to import some libraries. We're going to do hashlib. So yeah, we're going to be doing some hashing. From cryptography Fernay, import Fernay. If we need to, we can Google that, but I seem to remember Fernay is just a type of, of encryption and decryption. And lastly, we're going to import base64, probably to handle this great big blob of base64 that we saw earlier. All right, so let's see what this sucker does. So first, it's going to set some global variables. Arcane loop trial is set to true. Jump into full is set to false. And full version code is an empty string. So our username, for some reason, is Anderson. And it's also defined as a binary. OK. Ah, OK, this is interesting. Key part, static one trial. So this is going to be the first part of this key. OK, here, let me, let me actually show you from down here. It might be a little bit easier to see. So the program is going to put together key full template trial, which is going to be the uh, key that will decrypt the program or not. And to do that, it is going to take key part static one trial, which is this guy up here. And then it's going to concatenate dynamic one trial, which is this guy here. And unless I very much miss my guess, this is just a placeholder for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight characters that are going to be generated dynamically. And then to close it off, it closes it with key part static to trial. And if we go back here, we see that's just a closing curly bracket. So it's going to be Pico CTF in the key of, and then the eight characters that the program is going to random, well, not randomly, that is, is going to generate for us, and then a closing curly brace. So we've got a database here. We don't care about that. That's just part of the functionality of the program. Welcome to the Arcane Calculator. 
username. Uh, this is the trial version. The full version may be purchased in person near the galactic center of the Milky Way galaxy. Available while supplies last. How cute. So it's going to draw a menu for us. Uh, a is estimate astral projection. B is the locked function. This is what we're not going to have access to in the trial version. And what we want to get, I guess. Enter license key and exit. Okay, what would you like to do, Anderson? And here's the logic that just walks through that tree. If you select A, do this. If you select B, do this. If you select C, do this. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, that's more that the program does. Ah, enter license. Yeah, 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 this is what we want. So user key is going to be our input. And then the program is going to take whatever we inputted and strip it to lowercase. Uh, let's see. Here's the check. Oh, you clever bollocks. OK, so what it's doing here is it's checking that string that we entered as our user key. It's checking that against the actual key. And down here, if the length of whatever we put in there doesn't match the length that it's expecting from this guy, from key full template trial, it's just going to return false and not even evaluate that and just dump us right back out to the, to the little menu. So whatever we enter has to be exactly the length of this guy. Good to know. So it's going to iterate through this and it's going to take whatever we entered and it's going to hash it. It's going to hash it with SHA-256 at username trial is Anderson or whatever the hell we are. And then it's going to run that through hex digest. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's taking that key that we entered and it says, okay, take the fourth character in that string and evaluate that first. And if it matches, fine, go to the next step. Now take the fifth character and see if that matches what you expect. If it does, go to three. And then if that matches, go to six. And it's going to just step all the way through that entire string. Yep, ending with eight. And then it's going to return true. And when it does, then we're going to run the decrypt full version and we're actually going to be in there. Pretty cool. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good handle on what this thing does now. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can run it. So let's go back into our terminal and we'll do another listing and we'll do Python 3 and what was, let's actually dot slash that and it was called this guy. Okay, welcome to the Arcane Calculator, Anderson. This is the trial version of Arcane Calculator, blah, 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 we saw that. So we have four options. A, we'll estimate. Okay, let's see what that does. Which system do you want to travel to? Sirius. Okay, that doesn't, star not found. Okay, uh, B looks to be locked. Let's see if we can use B. You must buy the full version of this software to use this feature. Okay, so that's, that is going to be our goal. Um, we're going to have to somehow crack this so that we get the full version without paying for it. So let's see what happens when I do C, enter the license key. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll just enter a whole bunch of text. And it fails that. It fails the length match, and we just dump right out. Okay, like I said, I think I've got a pretty good handle on this. Let's go ahead and see if we can't solve it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do new file. And we will do this as a Python file. As a matter of fact, let's just do a quick save on that. Uh, show local, and we're going to save that in PycoCTF keygen me and we're going to call this one just I guess ape.py okay cool ape.py okay so let's write a script to go ahead and solve this thing so I'm going to import hashlib and we're going to import base64 and we're going to set this function hash well it's not actually a function so hash is just going to be hashlib and shot was shot 256 right yeah shot 256 and then we have to pass it our username which is binary was it anderson let's check i'm pretty sure it was anderson 
Do, 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 do. Mr. Anderson. Okay, back to ape.py. Give it Anderson. And is that all we need to do? Uh, no, no, we have to hex it. So uh, hex digest on itself. That should work. And now we need list. And list is going to be those numbers. So let's go back and get those numbers real quick. The uh, numbers. I should say the indexes. So where are our indexes at? Oh, okay, they're there. Okay, so we've got four, four, five, three, six, two, seven, one, eight. Okay, let's see. Four, five, three, six, two, seven, one, eight, six, two, seven, one, eight. Okay, good. And now we just need to print out what we get. So we're going to print. Um, you know what? I'm just actually going to hard code this because it's right here. So let's just go back and we'll grab our uh, this sucker here. And grab that and put it inside double quotes. And let's just terminate that line. Okay. And now we just need to loop through it and we're all done. So let's do for i in um, list. For i in list, we are going to print the hash. We're going to print hash um, of whatever i is. We're going to print the hash of i. And then again, we're just going to terminate it uh, with single quotes. And then I guess just to be complete, let's also we'll print that closing curly brace. Okay, that looks like it ought to run. Let's go ahead and save it. And we'll go back to our terminal. And let's dump out of that, clear our screen, do a file listing, and let's Python 3. Whoops. And we're going to do ape.py. And we have a flag. So let's see if this is actually the flag that we need. Pyco CTF in the key of 01582419. So let's see. We'll copy that out. So what actually the what we generated was only this part of it. All of this is static, and this closing curly brace is static. It's just this part that we generated. So let's actually go back to the challenge try to put our flag in, we'll paste that in, and we'll submit it. And hooray, you have solved this challenge correctly again. Full disclosure, I did do this challenge uh, yesterday, and my mic was absolute dog shit, and the audio was completely unusable, and I had to chuck it, and that really pissed me off. So anyway, that has been a little introduction to uh, reverse engineering a Python file and registering something you had no business registering fun anyway. If there's any interest from you guys, I might post some more of these as we go along. And as I train, I'm doing these exercises anyway. I might as well film the damn things. In any event, I've been the IT guy. You've been whoever the fuck you are. Thanks for hanging out, having a cup of coffee with me, and possibly learning something. Have a good one.